Seven double L P M, flying love to them house in the P M, sipping sea grim, showing all the weed stem, touching all my. Mmm, ain't this some shit? Pull up in the C A D I double L, bumping A C A C house, they peep those P I M P, and they think that automatically, cause he's a pimp. So let's get into it. You did. Man, what's the word? What's the word? Welcome back, man. Love in the trenches, man. Today is a real, real special day. We got some real special guests in the building. And for all my young homies, man, uh, today's going to be somewhat of a history lesson. Uh, we got some real Chicago pioneers on, on the music scene here in the city when it comes to this rap game, man. So uh, y'all want to introduce yourself? AK from Do or Die. B-Lo from Do or Die. Yeti. Already. Yeah, so like I said, man, like, for y'all that don't know, uh, y'all one of the first legendary groups to come out of the city that actually came onto the national scene from Chicago. So believe it or not, for all my young, my, uh, my young homies, there was a time in the city where like Chicago didn't have no representation when it came to music. You know, the East Coast, obviously, you know, this rap thing started on the East Coast, then it spilled over to the West and then the South. And I remember being a young kid, I used to just be like thirsty for somebody from the city to like pop on the scene. You know, I used to be just hungry. I have, I got family that lived in Los Angeles. I remember uh, I, I used to go out there for the summer, hmm. and they used to even talk about me like, y'all ain't even got no rappers out there. <laughs> and I couldn't, I used to be mad because I couldn't even say shit because hmm. we didn't at the time. Hmm. So fast forward 1992, I don't, my, my, my dates might be off already a little bit, but that, that, that time period, Chicago just came on the scene like a motherfucking tsunami, man. Yeah. And y'all was one of the main ones that, that led the way. Y'all alongside Crucial Conflict, Psycho Drama, uh, Common was doing his thing, Twister. The Brat. Uh, the Brat. But when y'all came on the scene, bro, like, when No Love hit the streets, mm -hmm. that's when the first time I heard y'all, you know what I'm saying, No Love. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember the quality, the audio quality was, it, it was terrible, for real, the quality, <laughs> but I loved it. That shit was still in my, in my, you know what I'm saying, it was in my box Chevy, like, volume all the way up. Right. And and the whole city knew, knew that song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So can y'all take us back a little bit, back to that time, like, just tell the people uh, what it was like, like, what made y'all even want to do this rap thing? The love for it. You know, we always had love for the game. And when you have love for the games, your trial and errors don't look like trial and errors. <laughs> it's you're pursuing the dream. So when we did no love, we did no love out of not, I wouldn't even say trial and error. We did no love out of the respect for people wanted music and we wanted to give them something that, that they didn't know they, they needed or wanted. You know, so when we did no love, man, we did it for the streets. We did it for the underground. We did it for the people, like once again, who didn't know they wanted it, you know, because no love. Every time we went somewhere, somebody was always quoting it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We go in the Ickies, me and Bilo, you know, when Bilo was in the Icky, you know, we go in the Ickies, they, they quote me some. Man, who said this verse? Or who said that verse? We go to Rockwell. Who said this verse? We was, you know what I'm saying? So these was all projects that we was going into, that we was going into that, you know, was in love with the song No Love. For sure. And even from like, I'm from 18, right? Latino, predominantly neighborhood. Everybody mm. knew the song. Mm. I'm going to school in Humble Park. Mm. Everybody knew the song. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, like, I definitely like remember that time, you know, like that shit almost like give me goosebumps because I remember how like, I, I wish I could be back in LA in front of them people that was telling me like, <laughs> y'all ain't got yeah. no rappers. I'm, and so I could tell them like, what's up now? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, mm. uh, Below, when you uh, y'all whole sound was was just different from what was out at the moment, and Below in particular, like you had like that super silky, like smooth ass voice that you know was kind of like I, that I hadn't heard before, and y'all was coming with them bars at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So that that was uh, how did you get your like how did you how did you get your style like where'd that come from like what influenced, in, like what influenced you to do that kind of sound? It's crazy because my granny, my mama, 
I come from a, a, a family of my dad, uh, uh, of musicians. They did tour with everybody and they made records with everybody. A lot of people don't know this. This is my, actually my first time even saying this, ever. So my, my background from that, I come from a family of musicians, but beyond that, as far as bars and lyrics, I live this. Like, I'm, 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 I'm a product of this. So that's where that came from. As far as me go, bro, just bouncing off of a, a era and whereas do or die, and we all us, and Flick, and, and Cycle Drum, the names that you mentioned. Cohesively, man, we just was like, we all touch one another in some form or fashion, so we was able to bounce off. Let me uh, not forget the snipers too, man. I know, snipers, and I, and I know shit, uh, everybody. Triple darkness. I know, like, we know, no disrespect to anybody that I, yeah. I didn't mention, but yeah. that was, bro. Like, how was it as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. I never had the gift of music, of, of like making music, but how was it as an artist just to be in that era surrounded by so much talent, just like uh, in, in a kind of like a small pocket of the city, because majority was like everybody was on the west side. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from Common, who was from our south, like. The West Side was just like, what the fuck? Like, where the fuck all these people coming from? And then everybody had their unique sound. Yeah. You know, even before that, even before y'all, though, I think Chicago always kind of been like ahead of their time. And mm -hmm. people kind of like don't appreciate it till nice. like later on. Because it's a lot of shit that came after y'all. It's like, man, that's some shit Do or Die was doing. Or that's some shit Crucial Conflict was doing. Or that's some shit. Psychodrama was doing y'all just y'all just uh, getting a, like a wind of it, right? Mm -hmm. So even before that, I remember like hip house, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Fast Eddie, you know, like oh, yeah, no doubt. Now fast forward twenty years later, you got EDM, you got hip hop, rap artists rapping on techno beats, and that's like mm -hmm. the biggest shit in the world. I said, bro, we did that shit in 87, Euro, 88. techno, dub <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that shit, 87, I mean, that just goes a testament to, to the creativity and the talent mm -hmm. here in the city. Mm -hmm. And that's what used to get me frustrated when I was out of town. And uh, I knew the talent we had in the city. Mm -hmm. It's just I was frustrated that they didn't know. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And y'all helped change that. Yeah, I think it, you know, we definitely helped change it. I was listening to the radio today, and I heard two songs that let us know. Oh yeah, we we definitely changed the culture of rap. I heard Ludacris say, "You could do it in the middle with a, uh, you could do it in the middle of a bun." Smoke on hay. I said, "Oh yeah, he definitely got that for sure." For sure, sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, man. Uh, Mike Jones said, "Like do it down, pole pimping." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know the the people that you put an impression on, they put an impression on the other people. Just let you know. What you have done, you know, because those was the big songs that Ludacris and Mike Jones put out there. For sure, and yeah. I think y'all has y'all has such a big impact on the whole music scene and the music sound. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it just never been documented. That's why people don't really like know as much as I feel they should. Yeah. Uh, when you had like Shaquille O'Neal on Instagram Live rapping, do you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think. Now the, the the position that I'm in now, like as a filmmaker, me and my homie Bo been talking about like, man, we need to tell this history. You know, we need to tell the show the people like who these guys were and who they still are to everybody that, that don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when they hear lyrics like the one you just quoted, most people don't even know that he got that from Kusha Conflict. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even back like when Bad Boy was at his height. And I, you hear May saying, pulling up in a B E N T L E, but what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm like, that's B Lo. Yeah, and he was like, man, they're going to be mad at me for saying he this. He said that. <laughs> Biggie you know. said it. I remember we was in New York. I remember Usher, too, obviously. I remember we was in New York, and uh, I don't know if you remember this, okay? I, I, I think you probably do. And we was recording. We was all there. Mm -hmm. We was all there. And uh, Biggie was called next door. We was called next door. And we was mixing down Paper Chase, I think it was, or something, or doing some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And um, Paper Chase, I'm on the one, and I'm, yeah. and I'm uh, uh, I need more money, more money, more. Some come fast, some come slow. And he dipped his head in there. And he was like, man, Joe, that flow, like, woo woo. Then he yeah. tripped with the Young and Dangerous, all that, like the same thing. For I remember, sure. like, 
like yesterday, and I think we was mixing it down. That was the time I think we was doing the song with Ja Rule, and we end up mixing the. Uh, yeah, you know, you know. No, we was playing a paper chase joint. We was playing a paper chase joint when we was doing a Ja Rule song, yeah. the Love um, Pimp Up. Pimp, you know, uh, I, I I played that. Yeah. I played that for people. Yeah. I'm like, I want yeah. y'all to listen to something, right? And yeah. I'll play your first three, four bars. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. And I'll play Notorious Thugs. Yeah. Biggest first. Yeah. They're like, damn, I never even noticed. You know yeah. What I'm and you remember we was playing it in New York. Yeah, and, yeah. And so, Big dumped his head and I'm like, man, I got to get that style. I'm like, shout out to Big RP. But. Yeah. No, he definitely. Uh, I yeah. remember it, w it was a Source magazine or a Vibe magazine. Like, and they, you know how they be asking. And he artists, gave the like, up. Like who you who you listening to right now? He he said yeah. do or die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, I kept track of all that history because I still like I'm still that kid. Well, you was there that didn't have no representation back mm. then, but now it's mm. like here. So I'm like I'm very well like familiar with with the history and and I'm watching it, bro, because y'all right down the street. Yeah, you know y'all yeah, on yeah. <laughs> especially the UK. Yeah, yeah, uh, y'all yeah. on Grandshaw. Yeah. We right down the street on yeah. California. Yeah. yeah, so you know we I'm seeing y'all in traffic like. That's do or die, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then mm -hmm. And we got familiar family, you know what I'm saying? For sure, so, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Can, can I say this too, just real quickly? Like, I in, in my opinion, bro, what keeps us alive, bro, is that, and it's real, you know, and we we did it all and we came from it all. But see, when we tapped into God, man, it made it a different level because it's like no matter what you're doing, no matter what type of uh, 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 situation you're going through, you had to tap into that. I, I, you know, people didn't understand, but I was when I when I met AK, I had a Bible in my hand. Did I not? I'm talking about you talking about a young kid, ruthless ass. Nah, I don't want to use the word ruthless, but <laughs> I was in it. Yeah. Put it that way. I was, I was in it, but I had a Bible in my hand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I understood all that shit, but I had a Bible in my hand. You know what I mean? And I so, think it's a lot of people like that in this city, bro. Like, especially, you know, yeah. people here all, you know, they they look it from the outside in and they just think we a bunch of like savages and shit. Mm -hmm. But they don't realize how many how many people is just like that, bro, that yeah. in reality, they got a good heart. Mm -hmm. and they want to do good things, mm -hmm. but the environment don't ever let you show that side of yourself because right. it's perceived as weakness. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. So you got to right. stay in your role of like... Right. But see, I didn't understand it then. No, I mean, we, we don't even. The reason that yeah. I kind of understand it more now, like I'm 45 now. years old, but when yeah. I'm 16, 17, we don't like, understand. We don't understand. It. Right. You know, it's like you just don't show them emotions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta be on your tough guy shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and I think another thing people don't uh, need to appreciate about about y'all about crucial conflict in particular, y'all two, your your sales and the time that y'all came out. <laughs> Shit. Y'all gotta remember, this is a time when <laughs> Tupac was in his height, Biggie, Biggie was in his height, yeah. Jay Z dropped around that time. Y'all yeah. sold almost double what Jay Z sold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Try the other top people, Rolling so, Stones. But that that's just like Danny for hip hop, Jackson. them the top two, yeah. and, and and like those were titans in the rap game. Right. And y'all put a dent in the game, man. That made everybody pay attention to what was going on in the city. Mm -hmm. So again, man, just salute as a fan. To uh, what y'all what y'all meant to the city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I said, it, it always it it always been an honor to like uh, have y'all represent the city in my eyes, you know. Yeah. And it's funny that you know later on we ended up kind of like working together, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, I know a lot of people wonder like, do or die looks different from a few years back. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, R.I.P. Johnny P. Yeah, no doubt. You know, he was- Johnny P forever. Even though he wasn't Already. technically part of the group, he was do or die, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Nard, for those that is wondering like, what happened to Nard? Cause like I went to the joint, right? I went away for 10 years, I mm -hmm. came back and then I'm seeing do or die and I don't see Nard no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? like. I never, I never asked y'all about it, whatever. It's just no, like, no, no. It's but, you know what I'm saying? Like, just for the fans, like, what? That I don't know if y'all ever spoke on it before, mm -hmm. but for the fans, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happened with that situation? Nah, let's do it down, man. When we talk, and, and that's just it. When, whenever Nah decides to rap and come back again, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It's nothing different. It's yeah. nothing less. Shit. We yeah. shit. We just that ain't gonna away. Yeah, there's there's nothing outside of that. It's just And we ain't saying this shit over the mic or none of that, no right. cap, no none of that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is what it is. And uh, you know, not <laughs> you know, my brother do uh demolition and construction and he been doing that for a long time. For sure. I'd definitely be seeing him like yeah. he getting his construction game on, yep. yeah. So you know, not dig deep into that, which is multi millions of dollars. For you know sure, for my sure, yeah. My brother been doing it with the uh, some old head Italian guys, so you know now I think that I seen it too. I just never got into it, but now I got into it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. The last time I uh, no, I talked to him after that, but I remember I talked to him about uh, uh, the day the day before Johnny P's funeral. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He had reached out and he was asking me like, was I coming? And I had just started a new job. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't take off of work, mm -hmm. but uh. But yeah, I mean, you know, like, just off his tone, I could tell like it's all love, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. didn't really get into, yeah. you know, Johnny P had just passed away, so the conversation wasn't even about the group, it was about JP, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So uh, so let's fast forward now a little bit into like how we ended up working together, because I know right now you say, you know, remember we was in New York, people probably like, the fuck they talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> So for y'all y'all that don't know, you know, we was just some guys from the neighborhood. You know, we had uh, a couple of guys from my side of the neighborhood just trying to chase our dreams and contribute to the culture. Hmm. You know, we wasn't artists, but we felt we represent the culture, the culture. here in the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, let's try to build a home for the artists here hmm. so the artists from Chicago, don't, go out, don't they ain't got to go out of town hmm. to go get a deal because up until that point, you know, y'all had to, uh, you know, lock in with rap a lot. Uh, you know, twist that to go out of town, crucial conflict. You know, it wasn't really nobody here at home giving them that opportunity mm -hmm. to just do something here. So that was kind of like our mission. Yeah, yeah. You know, and back then, in order to, to secure a distribution deal, we needed artists with record uh, sales history. Hmm. And y'all was about to like uh, finish up your, your your contract with rap with rap a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'll let y'all speak on that. As far as I like think I had we, I, we, uh, I, I had got out up. I had just got out when I had I think when I bumped into y'all I had just got out I had met Rudy prior before that at a club we had a club in Chicago at E2 so I had met him already but after that I had I, I was gone I had I left when I got back out I think uh, I think Nod had bumped yeah into so what him, happened with him. <laughs> Yeah, I was gone. So what so I happened, I, I walked I, into some shit. And I was, I was, I, I was like, man, you. you know, that's, man, that's yeah. them. Nah, that's Kirkwood's homie. Mm -hmm. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he used to be coming through here. Like, man, we need to go holler at them directly because we trying to find somebody like to talk to, talk yeah. to y'all through somebody else. Yeah. And I remember me telling Rudy, like, look, man, well, they used to be on the block with Kirkwood. Yeah. You know, like, Nard finna be, I think it was like a stepping party on the south side or something. Like, man, we finna drive up there, and I'm gonna talk to Nard. Hmm. And that's what happened. I see Nard outside. Oh, wow. the, I see Nard outside the club over on 70, right off 79th and Ashland. See, I never knew that part. Me neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm locked that's up. Green. Yeah, yeah, so I, I approached him. I'm like, Nard, what's Fight up? And at first, he ain't recognize me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ain't recognize me. So I'm like, man, I'm, yeah. I'm Drake. I'm one of Kirkwood's homies right away. Like. Tone change like, yeah. oh, it's family. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I broke it down to him like, look, we're trying, we trying to do this music thing, man. We want to talk. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like one thing led to another. And we eventually, you know, sat down and talked. And at the moment, we was trying to talk to everybody in the city. Kohar, you remember, uh, we, we tried to, you know, we was reaching out to Crucial Khan. We got Kohar in the building too, man. No doubt. Shout out Kohar. Uh, we was try, you know, we, we reached out Lee, to the flick. We, we was reaching out to everybody like, man, like, let's do this. Like, let's put this thing together, mm -hmm. you know. But I think that was already in the midst of like a situation. Mm -hmm. I think they was about to put their own stuff out. So yeah. uh, we was talking at the same time. And and eventually, man, like, we finally came to an agreement. Like, do y'all remember that whole <laughs> I remember exactly shit. Cause I I don't know for y'all, but like I know like that shit was frustrating as hell. Like, <laughs> bro, let's just do this uh, shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and y'all yeah. was like, man, we don't really know y'all like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, cause you gotta we gotta remember like, and I'm you know I don't suko shit, so I'm just here for what it is. Like, I had got out 
I met Rudy first, but I, but I had knew him from the club, but then I went to the joint. So when I got out, I had no idea, you know what I'm saying, uh, now I was mingling or, or Kaden was mingling with y'all. I had no fucking idea at all. You know what I'm saying? That shit came like later down the line. Long story short, uh, the most frustrating part, Kay, Kay was like, man, I ain't fucking with this shit. So, rightfully so, in the sense of. He was real cautious. Yeah. Spokesman. Kay was like the last. Spokesman. The last but, but, domino to fall, like damn, come on, but, man. Spokesman. <laughs> shit, ain't no secret. We don't, we, yeah. we finna Looking do all that. Looking back at it I, now, it was like, I understand yeah, it. Right. B- right, but can I say this? Like, the reason why I always had a thing called a for show book. <laughs> you know, I laugh probably when I say this shit. But I'm like, shit, man, look, man, we're gonna grab the bread. Now, we don't fuck about none of this other shit. No, my belief was long we don't tie ourselves in for a long time for anything. Shit, we're gonna grab the bread and we're gonna we're we gonna move on to the next. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. And then coming home to shit, I ain't shit. I'm like, shit. Let's 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 work. But it was other shit had transpired in between it. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So now it's like, okay, well maybe this shit can work. Cause mind you. We linked with y'all. We linked up, some, you know. Yeah. Other cats too. So it's a different. It was just some shit was going on. So yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. Was motherfucker, mess, I like... can't, you know, speak <laughs> on it. But it was some shit going on. So it was like, man, shit. And then Kate was like, shit. I'm one foot in, one foot out, type yeah. shit. You feel me? Which was a wise move because all we all had played a part in that. Let me sum it up. And I think that's what. Kind of, that's what, not, I don't use the word kind of, that's what keeps us together. Even though Nod ain't rapping right now, Nod still with us. And we talk and we kick it and we come, say, we laugh, we get, we do all this shit. Mm-hmm. But we got to understand it. Nod doing this, me and K doing that. When it's time, when it's time. But ain't no black, bad blood, no shit. I call right now, right now, put on the speaker phone, be like, man, I'm sitting here with Dre right now, we doing uh, energy <laughs> on war. He gonna laugh and get gonna chime in, I swear to God. Yeah. Right? So ain't none of that. We ain't, we ain't on it, right? Here's the thing. Like, when you, when you understand that and you know that this shit bigger than you, it ain't about b It ain't about AK. It ain't about Nah. It ain't about uh, 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 Johnny P, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? It's a movement because sure. guess what? If we don't put our bullshit aside and shoot, our kids, our grandkids, our grandkids' kids, our mamas, our daddies, alive or dead, our aunties, our ancestors, our homies, our niggas, our, the movement of Chicago. None of this shit means shit. Yeah. What was what was going through your mind at that moment, Kay? Because like I said, you mm-hmm. was like the, like the last one to like finally get on board. Even after we had a lot of good meetings, a lot of good conversations, it was still like you were still a little hesitant. Like what was going on? I always knew that we were CEOs. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I knew we were CEOs and I wanted to express that. I wanted to uh, not let the world know, but let the artists know that if you, you know, if you run in your company and you run it the right way, then you can help other artists. Mm-hmm. But I also know, you know, I also wanted to express that you always going to need help. You know what I'm saying? And the help that you, you're going to need in the process are the, are the ones who's going to, you know, put you back in focus and balance. And that's what you guys did, Dre. And I just got to say this while we on camera, like, thank you. Thank you and Rudy, you know what I'm saying? Because you guys came in and y'all gave us the opportunity to express ourselves again, you know, with Kanye West, DJ Quick. Um, the what's the cat of Scott, Scott Storch? Like all yeah. these guys that we was, you know, what I'm saying mingling R. With, Kelly. <laughs> R. Kelly. You know, what I'm saying all these guys that we was mingling with and doing music with over again was because you guys gave us the opportunity, and then we gave y'all the opportunity to, you know, what I'm saying express yourself to express yeah. yourself, in, you know, on one accord for sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, mm. 
Dude, and at shit. the same time, like behind the scenes, like we was fighting for all that. <laughs> we was fighting for all that yeah. opportunity. And, and even with just the the people from the industry, yeah. it was like so hard. Like we flying back and forth to New York. You know, we catching a red eye flight seven thirty in the morning, coming back to Chicago four thirty five o'clock in the evening, and then mm. we back on the block handling stuff in the neighborhood. Yeah. And, and then, then still like trying to do this music shit, no doubt. And, and for like people to still here at home, kind of like not sure was the the I, I just didn't like some people was wasn't respecting the effort that we was putting in mm. because you know they don't know they we don't have the history that y'all had, but we working together, and you know what I'm saying like we fuck with do or die, but we don't know about y'all. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, and then just having to like show people like man, listen. Just because we don't got the history, don't know that we're not knowledgeable about what we're mm. doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we putting up blood, sweat, and tears yeah. to push this thing. Yeah. You know. And behind. in front of us, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, just keep it 100. Like the way it was done, people, you know, the the people didn't expect what we did. Right. The impact that we 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 put on uh, the culture. They got to respect that, Dre, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it was some things, like, and you know, Dre, you know, you always have had a conversation with Do or Die, like, it should be like this, this, and this, 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 and this, because you a studier of music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So if if you like, okay, that's how that's supposed to go, you always came back to the table and you always gave a response, and the response was violent. And it was an uh, impact every time we did something that you that you you know brought to the table. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember, uh, I remember you know once we got we were able to email people from the joint. Man, I remember you. Uh, yeah. I don't know who you got my the, uh, my contact info from or something, but like we started emailing back and oh, forth. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember like uh, we used Melo, Melo. Yeah, yeah, so I remember we used to uh, talk about that. Mm -hmm. You know, like just reflecting on everything that happened yeah. and. And like, you know, missed missed opportunities and you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so let's talk about that, right? Looking back on y'all's career, do y'all feel like it was some missed opportunities left on the table that could be before us, while with us, after us? Just is there anything that stands out like that? You know what? We could have took advantage of that, but we dropped the ball, we didn't. Or, you know, if I could do it again, you know what I'm saying? Like I probably would have did it this way. Is there anything in particular that you feel like Hmm. With some missed opportunities. Hmm. I know for a fact. <laughs> let me I jump don't. in. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Uh, just, just, just one, right? Like, no, no. I'm just thinking, like, when Mike Jones said that line, "Do or die," like Pope Pimp, and mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all need to get on his ass. Like, I don't need to do a song together as a fan. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, not as an artist. Mm -hmm. I know it's different, mm -hmm. but as a fan, mm -hmm. like. Man, he just shouted y'all out like, "Nah, he got to give us a song." You know what I'm saying? Like, right, 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 just because right. it's like he, you know, he was hot at the time. And mm -hmm. then uh, I would have, I would have probably had liked y'all to to tap in with like young Chicago artists, mm -hmm. just to make that that connection, that bridge mm -hmm. from what, like the legendary guys to the up and coming guys. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and this is just all from a fan perspective. Like, it's real simple and, and cut. But I know once you, as as an artist. Is way more complicated than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think. Let me answer the question because I gotta say something. Not, I, like I gotta cut me and pardon by. No, I don't. I don't at all. Because if you think back, let's talk about from the Kanye shit on down. That shit would have never happened if the nigga didn't when, didn't owe me a favor either. Either. Real mm -hmm. shit. Like the nigga wasn't even budging on that either. Like. Or let's go to the to, to the newer shit. Like it's a lot of young niggas that's out here that, you know, inadvertently or directly, we didn't put in 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 people presence and said, look, deal with these cats. So sometimes it's like I don't do shit for the camera. I do shit like I'm a real nigga. Like it's 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 certain things that. Niggas don't see this behind the scenes. See, we got these cameras. Right, right. This shit only a moment. Mm -hmm. We talking about this shit that, just like you, it's things you didn't did. Me and you talked about it. Yeah. We don't put on camera. Mm -hmm. But we on camera now. Yeah. The shit he did, the shit I did. 
and you don't know about what I did. It's some shit he don't know what I did. Some things I don't know what he did. Some things he don't know what you did. I can't sit here and, and just be like, I'm doing this for the camera because it, it ain't it ain't gonna sit well with me. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's too much that a nigga done did for cats. You know what I mean? So yeah. so with me saying that, it's like, no, nah, like I don't feel no type of like a nigga Mr. Beat. I think that whatever happened, supposed to happen. I think when you're going through trial and tribulation, bro, all this other shit in between, you got to deal with it. You might miss out. You might not miss out. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. It'll come full circle if you, if, you, if you learn because without a lesson, there's no blessing. So if we miss something... Right, no, and I feel you, bro, because I feel the same way. Even <laughs> even everything that happened, like with me getting uh -huh. in my situation, having to go away, that shit was like, that shit was a struggle. But I always tell myself, you know, things happened exactly the way they were supposed it's to supposed happen. To happen. I've been you there, know what I'm so I know. So, so yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I also think that uh, if you change anything in the course of to where you at right now. You would, we wouldn't even be sitting here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because there was a change in uh, from that point to now. You right. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, you know, uh, uh, life happened. Mm -hmm. It all depends on how you get up and move forward. For sure, yep. Yeah. I mean, we was talking about, uh, before we got on camera, how we was having Kanye's management at the time was reaching <laughs> out to us. Yeah. They wanted to do a solo project with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I always wonder, like, damn, I wonder what that would have been like if they did it. But for whatever the case was, it didn't happen. But again, it goes to the fact like things happened exactly the way they were supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know Kanye, what I'm Kanye, I, well, I, you know, jo bro, John Monopoly used to be hitting the line. Like, no, nah, before John Monopoly, Dame Dash hit. John was always hitting me. Dame Dash hit. I had Rudy on the phone. Well, you know. With Dame Bad. So, you know, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm, I I put him on the phone yeah. with him. And I remember they even wanted to, Rockefeller right. wanted to distribute mm -hmm. the whole the situation. Album, yeah. All that shit was on the phone. Yeah. And then it was just like, shut that shit down. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn, that is, right. that is the rock. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but then Man. it was just like, it, it just goes against everything we trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. now we just up under them. Right. And it's like, we what did you do for right. them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been up under them because of what was. Well, you know, the outside people they would have seen that Rockefeller thing on on the back of the album, or whatever. They'd be like, "That's even that's though that's rock. not the case." That's right. yeah. Kanye, so, Kanye, six billion dollars later. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, I mean, I, and and, and kind of like, let's fast forward now to what's going on now, right? I mean, y'all know me from the past, and here I am, like, almost trying to, like, reinvent myself, hmm. you know, be, still being the same person, but just doing new things. Bilo, you see me, you see me right now setting up these lights, and he, he like, I was shocked. Dre, I'm just looking at you, bro, like, just looking at you and just thinking, like, you really just learned how to do all this shit. Mm -hmm. Because, man, y'all know me from back in the, who the fuck would have thought I'd be setting up lights and microphones and cameras, and, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's like... I, like I said, told y'all before, I always felt like, like I wanted to contribute to the culture. Hmm. It's always been a passion of mine, mm -hmm. and that's why I studied the music. Hmm. That's why I was, mm -hmm. you know, no doubt. <laughs> so I'm like, this is my way. Because when I came home, now I'm seeing YouTube. I'm seeing like, what you could record with a camera, and we could put it on the internet, and like, bro, why are we not working? You know what I'm saying? And like, matter of fact, I'm gonna go to work on my own. You know, like. Hmm. I'm going to get this shit going and, 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 you know, been putting in work past two, three years and then just watching y'all now in a different stage of y'all career, mm -hmm. you know, before the pandemic hit, y'all was doing two, three, four shows a week mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and, yeah, and, and like crazy. packing them bitches out and motherfuckers yeah. still going crazy, fuck, fuck with all the classics. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel now to be in this stage of your career? Like what are the new like challenges that that y'all see that, that y'all put give y'all selves? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, well, right now, you know what I'm saying, even with the pandemic, uh, doing what, what happened with the pandemic and even with the pandemic happening, it gave you the opportunity to understand how 
to make passive incomes in different in other areas of your you know your gifts and your talents. You know what I'm saying? It brought other things out. And if it that I'm just gonna keep it 100. Like if it didn't bring nothing else out of you, man, you really are not seek. You know, you really not looking within yourself. You know what I'm saying? But uh, to answer the question is, you know, at the end of the day, man, um, when the shows and the clubs, a lot of these clubs closed, and a lot of these promoters like was like, I'm I'm through. I'm good. There's always some more uh, people who's willing to step up and take that chance. Mm. So there's more promoters now mm. who's younger, who's hungrier, mm -hmm. who's, you know what I'm saying? So now you gotta get up with them and say, man, look, this is our, you know, this is our, uh, uh, this is our platform. We platinum artists. Right. This is what we do. Now you gotta introduce that to another crowd and they're gonna reintroduce it for you. But mm -hmm. they're gonna reintroduce it in the way they reintroduce it now, which is social media. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it 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 don't, it, it don't, it's, mm, it's not how you start it's how you finish mm -hmm. Mm. yeah and yeah. So and that's that's kind of like what i was seeing like man here we are 25 years later and the, and the fans still love y'all music you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying it's like that just goes back to what we talked about earlier the impact y'all had on the city and the whole country for real with what y'all did mm -hmm. early in your career, and, and then y'all continue to be consistent, man. Yeah. So like, I mean, like I said, bro, like I really, really appreciate. I mean, we we've been knowing each other for a while now. Mm -hmm. We had a bunch of wild times together. We've been <laughs> laughing about the last few days. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen y'all in, in about yeah, a year or two. Yeah. You know, but uh, Love yeah. City. <laughs> yeah, we had some wild times <laughs> on the road, boy. Y'all don't know these two right here, bro. Like I just be thinking about shit, just be laughing. Motherfuckers don't even know what I'm laughing about, yeah. like, man. Y'all, y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. <laughs> and just you know, like, bro, just just coming from us all coming off the block, like, and then agreeing that I right, this is the way we pointing towards, mm -hmm. and. Going in, locking in with the R. Kellys, locking in with the Kanye West, locking in with the Twisters, locking in with the Scott Storch. We was locking in with everybody. And we was going from coast to coast. Coast, exactly. And look, every time we got to where we was going, there was nobody to really stop us because they knew that it was a force to be reckoned with. Right. And I feel like at the end of the day, that's what Chicago, you know, really, really need. People who's going to come together no matter what, where you from, what you're mm -hmm. doing, the whole nine, and mm -hmm. just you know that we just stick together, man, and and put the city where it need to be. Cause yes, yes. you got the look, Dirks. You got you know you yeah. we can go through all the artists, man. Man, it's some dope. And I, it's some real super dope artists in Chicago, man. Fuck that yeah, yeah. Make you be like, wait, 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 wait. What are we doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, man, what are we doing? The shot man? running you know the shit saying? right now. Like, all the young niggas running the shit right yeah, now, man. Yeah. These niggas ain't. The the shot the young niggas running this shit right now from Chicago. All that shit niggas be trying to put everybody else on the pedestal. If you at pedestal, if you look at it, man, all the young niggas from Chicago running this shit, directly or indirectly. You know what I'm saying? It could be music, it could be filming, it could be this, it could be that, it could be right. the, it, whatever. It could be promoting, it could be promotions, it could be or oh, whatever. Man, it's some it's a it's motherfuckers, young niggas from Chicago behind them scenes running that shit. Social media, all that For shit, sure, right? Yep. So the thing is, here's the point. The reason why motherfuckers never ever, it was only one reason why motherfuckers never ever wanted Chicago to get on, period. And we're the most feared city. So they try to create it like it's violence, but that's bullshit. The real reason is just it's a motherfucking money state, period. Money country, sure, right? Yep. So, so we're the number one consumers in the world. Mm -hmm. Not when it come to music. No, not no, just music, no, but I'm just everything. Saying, music is we're the of number one consumers in the world. In the world, this been back since the '60s, back since the '50s. The number one consumers in the world, from bootlegging on down, right? Mm -hmm. The number one consumers in the world. So if you can deceive a country or a city or a market, well, a city, us, Chicago, the number one consumers in the world. Yeah, that'll be. That'll you know how much motherfucking money we making? We ain't talking about we no been, other shit, then. 
People Stop. been talking about that since back in the day, you know? <laughs> Say that. You know I was yeah. talking about that shit. Yeah. And yeah. I'm still on that. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. You mentioned something right now. You said even film, right? So, like I told y'all, like, I'm kind of uh, reinventing myself. I, I picked up this lane, mm -hmm. and I've been grinding like a motherfucker trying to be a, get myself established as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was a blessing to me, my homie Bo G, whose studio we in oh, right yeah, now, no Gray Nova uh, Cinema Studios. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we worked on some film. Shout and out Bo G. Shout out Bo G. And uh, it's so, bro, like, I'm looking at the movie the film shit now, it's, and it's, there's so many similarities between, the, like, the film shit mm -hmm. and the music shit mm -hmm. back when everybody was starting to get on with their own labels and shit like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost like, it's wide open right now. And me and Bo had our two hour long conversations about like, man, we need to like, we need to fill this gap, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, on the film side, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard as hell because it's not like an artist, you can just go to the studio, all you need is just you and the engineer, you come with a beat. This film shit, you need a whole fucking team mm -hmm. to put this shit together. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see it, you, you, you work and you, you know, you, you, you got a role in one of Bo's movies right now. You see the behind the scenes, how much fucking moving parts it is, lighting, sound, mm -hmm. cameraman, sound man, pull focus, and this and that and the other. And that's just to get the film done. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, now it's a whole nother layer. We got to edit, yeah, we got to market, man, man. we got to, you know, print material, we got to hit, you know, uh, uh, promo tours and, uh, and interviews, and then distributing it is a whole nother it kind of reminds me of the music game yeah. so i'm all you know i'm always look at things as like far as like on the business side like how we gonna eat off of this you know just so trying to figure that out and and, and i think it's man bro it feels so good that y'all are part of it part of this too now you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying you mm -hmm. come full circle like here i am running my race again and then here y'all come boom yeah. we cross paths yeah. again yeah, you know man. what i'm saying so like when i asked, i just asked y'all today Man, let me get an interview. Shit, like, man, we could do that shit right now. Yeah, man, yeah. You and, family, You know what I'm right? saying? So, yeah. man, I appreciate y'all, man. And, and yeah, bro, like, it's been a blessing for y'all to come and bless the platform. Uh, like I said, we trying to get this Love City thing off the ground. And, and uh, so I definitely appreciate y'all coming on, man. Before, we, like, we wrap this thing up, is there anything else that we didn't touch on that y'all want to say to the people, to the Do or Die fans? Like, what y'all got going on? What y'all working on? Uh, we got a new album out right now called The Storm. It dropped August the 5th. Right now it's out. Super hot. We're working on the videos. Bo G just shot a video for us, man, which is super dope, man. Coming out super, oh, super dope. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple of more videos, man. Shout out to Love City, man. Shout out Chicago. For sure. You know, I, I just want to say this, man. You know, I believe, this just me, you know, I believe uh, once we put bring the bridge together, of um, which it is coming together because you can see it. But once we come 100% all the way together with the young and the old heads, because I feel like the music industry, the people who run the record companies, they want wanted to see the separation of the young and the old. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they like, okay, we separate those two. The OGs can't tell the young guys all of the trial and errors that they went through. So we don't need them to tell them that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna yeah. just make it sure. Like, so if if we all could come together, we'd be like, no, don't do that, do this. Don't do that, do this. But sh do you. But I just want to show you the trials and errors of the game. You know what I'm saying? Sure, so yeah. you don't bump your head. And I want you to be a multimillionaire so you can leave a legacy for your family. Yeah. Also, um, shout out to Love City. Bo G, thank you for the opportunity. You know, I watched the movie Cap Gown. <laughs> that shit was crazy. It was like... Uh, no I know that too. You ain't got to tell me. I, I ain't get to that. Yeah, Bo, Bo, Bo fucked everybody up with that one. <laughs> yeah. It's like, man, you both like, man. Going in on this third time going on me on today. But, uh, Bo was telling everybody, no. like, yeah, I let him shoot it. Yeah, but no, 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 <laughs> no. Like, just, just, you know, you get credit with credit due. Uh, definitely, I was going to, you know, Dre, you know, we go back. We, we, we family, we go back. Tone, a lot of us that, like, like, just link up and go back. Um, um, yeah. I thank, thank you for the opportunity. 
you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To be on the platform. I'm never beside myself or or feel like I'm bigger than myself. I don't think do or die never would be feel that way. Um, you know, at the end of the day, bro, like to change the narrative, I always been against the grain. You know that about me. <laughs> so, man, I don't do it. You know, I don't be getting to fuck what other platform, other motherfuckers be like on. You know, yeah. almost Chicago shit. All so right. fuck them big leads, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we're yeah. gonna create our own narrative. That's what we're doing now. Sure, for sure. So let's yep. get our own money, let's do our own thing. Hell yeah. So and y'all already know, man. Love and support and love over here. So oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Whatever y'all need from us, we got y'all, man. Still, like man. I said, love city in the building. Love city, baby. And with that being said, man, peace. Love from the trenches. Love from All the right. trenches. Love baby. city, po how hold on let me call my you know. Now I go step in the body caddies. Boy, Lexus, you know, boy, Lexus. Doing my thing. Try to hit the next plateau, just balling. Flex with the roll, roll, drop a jewel and go go. Smoke a beat, dog. Pose all I can do. You know, you know, bro. Oh no, two more. Let us flex low. Still in front row. You know where the house be falling now. Big with a stingy, get a tingy, shit a mention. Let them follow with a long man. That dragon stagger. You ain't shooting with Love City. I don't know who you shooting with.